Hey, this is Riley with Main Street ROI, and today's tip has to do with three things that you can do to improve your overall Google Ads account structure. So the biggest, or one of, yeah, one of the biggest things that I see in accounts just when doing audits is the number of campaigns. There are just usually too many campaigns relative to the budget. So, you know, oftentimes there, I'll see four or five, maybe six campaigns, but they're only spending, you know, 500 bucks a month. And it's important to understand that when talking about search campaigns specifically, you really need to be getting at least 10 clicks a day in order to get enough data, because otherwise you're just not getting enough data to see what's what's working and what's not working. So if, you know, average cost per click is around five dollars, then, um, you know, that campaign should really be spending at least 50 bucks a day, again, at a bare minimum, probably more if possible. But, you know, if if a campaign isn't getting at least 10 to 15 clicks a day, then I think it's really just a matter of either not advertising for those services or consolidating campaigns into, you know, these, taking these three campaigns and putting them all together, provided they have the same location targeting. So that's another thing that has to be said at the campaign level. But um, But yeah, number one, too many campaigns relative to the budget. Second thing is uh, making sure that keywords are organized by intent. So Google has recently shifted its matching system to organize keywords by the intent, the implied intent of that search term keyword. And so, you know, going back through your account, making sure that keywords are in, are in ad groups specifically by intent. So even if that means different keywords, Google will consider them effectively the same and will match for them if they believe that the user had the same intent. So just making sure that keywords are grouped by intent is really important because that's how Google is going to match them. And then third thing is broad match keywords. So this is something that may fly in the face of Google's actual recommendations. You'll you'll frequently see that in the in the recommendations tab, Google's suggesting that you upgrade your keywords to broad match. Um, but it's important to know that these recommendations are made with very large advertisers in mind. And I can personally say from my experience, I have not seen broad match keywords produce good results for most accounts. There are very few use cases for broad match keywords. And if you did decide to use them, I would stick with broad match keywords that are longer search terms, longer keywords, um, and make sure that the negative keywords list in the account is really robust. There's a lot of negative keywords preventing, you know, a lot of competitor matching and, and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, broad match keywords just by themselves have really, I've seen them really cost a lot of money with very little return. So I would warn, warn against broad match keywords. So those are just three of the biggest things that I've seen recently. Um, if you have any questions about any of those, please reach out to us. We specialize in helping small businesses with their advertising and, and search engine optimization. So um, we're happy to help. And with that, I'll see you guys at the next tip.